Hey everyone, welcome to Dom Time. And you're probably wondering, first show, this guy doesn't have a tie on. Well, I thought I was gonna have to exercise today. Kimberly Garrison is here though, she'll do it for two. We're talking with our physical fitness guru that writes for the, she writes for the Philadelphia Daily News every Wednesday you pick up her column. And I've seen recent columns and had them on my radio show about obesity, childhood obesity. But Kimberly, let's talk now, we're on the cusp of a new year. And for a lot of people, uh, they do make New Year's resolutions and they put down vague general things that cannot be built. But we do want to have a game plan. What kind of things do you recommend from the people that are really motivated to those that are maybe only motivated because they're afraid of some health risk or something, the doctors told them that, or they know it themselves. Getting started to walking, I think, is something every person can do, no matter what level of condition almost, right? Absolutely. You hit it right on the nail, Dom. That's mm. what I recommend to people all the time. They say, what can I do? I want to get this weight off really, really fast. Right. And what kind of exercises should I be doing? And I say, can you walk? You know, Are right. you healthy enough to walk? Start there. Crawl, walk, run your way to success. If you haven't been doing anything, it's just foolhardy to think, oh, I'm going to start a running program. Right, and it's not bad on your joints. Everyone can and walk at a not different bad pace for everybody to get a partner. That's another thing to recommend. If you get a friend, somebody's going to do that. That's where the motivation comes in with a lot of this stuff. Absolutely. We all do better if we have somebody to buddy up with. You know, but even right. if you don't have a buddy, don't let that deter you from getting started. And so I always say, look, if you have 10 or 15 minutes, right. walk 10 or 15 minutes. Don't say, well, if I can't do it for an hour, I can't do it. Because exercise is cumulative. If you have 10 minutes over here and another 10 minutes over there and five minutes over there, it all adds up to that 25 minutes exactly. of activity. We're going to put on uh, at home a board for people to have a sense about having a plan and what you recommend around success. And again, putting this down on paper, I'm a paper and pencil guy or on a board that you see it at home, uh, that kind of thing. What are some of the other things that you can do once you start walking, once you start making these basic things in drawing up this plan of success? What goes into it? Absolutely, you have to have a vision. You have, mm -hmm. I tell people, get create a vision board. Like I cut out you know, pictures in a magazine right. and put, just like an old uh, right. you know, right. class uh, you know, uh, exercise you would do in school, right? Mm -hmm. And you write, put down on this vision board all the things that you really, really want. And then you put the vision board out so you can see it every day and it's gonna start influencing your behavior. In addition to that, writing down the goal, okay, I wanna lose, if you wanna lose 50 pounds, break it down and say, okay, I wanna lose eight pounds a month right. and so forth and so on, so that's two pounds a week so that you can see how you're gonna get there week to week, month to month. Talk about the brain to belly connection. I mean, I'm thinking of the brain that comes in <laughs> and sees this, I could do a commercial around this. What is your brain telling you? This might be a good decision? Well, of course, especially if you're hungry, like I right. ate before I came here today, right? So okay. that I would not be tempted because I know there's gonna be the green room goodies. And so- Oh, it's a lavish budget. <laughs> That's the inside story, yes. The Hershey kisses that are in there, lavish, world famous. But if you're hungry, you're, right. going, you're going to fall to temptation. So that's right. the first thing is pre be prepared when you go out, okay? I, I went to a party. I ate before the party because I wasn't really at the party to eat so much as to meet and greet people and socialize. So or that's the restaurant is another area where people have a problem looking it out in advance. A lot of restaurants are more helpful dieting. They have a whole list of things. I even go to a hoagie place that has that a hoagie Level. place. Yes, there's a well, we'll have to have vegetarian hoagie. I know okay. you're going to say I'm kidding myself. Light on the oil, whole wheat bread, etc. Okay. You can do things like that. Right. Now, are you, oh, did you eat cheese? So you're not a vegan? Yeah, minor amount of cheese. Okay. Yeah, okay. not quite a vegan, though. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, Kim, talk about women uh, principally now, because I know you do train a lot of women. Any special type of thing there? And I know you wrote a column about African American women. Yes, and I did. <laughs> that, is that a subset? Is there is that a group of, of women that maybe are not into training? Because I do see as many women joggers as I do men. I do a, a 5K run every year for an event, and I had to beat a woman who was pushing a baby carriage. That's a level of fitness. Right, that right, I was at. right, yeah. right, exactly. Well, I think that um, African American women, there are some other challenges that we face. And okay. this kind of keeps people from coming to, into the gym as much as we would like them to. Um, and so that was the article that caused a lot of controversy because keeping our hairstyles is one of the things that really challenges uh, a lot of people in the African-American so community. So you mean if, if the person's sweating, perspiring from what right. they're doing, this is going to, the hairstyle thing. Right. 
Right, exactly. And so there are, some, you know, there are more African-American women now coming into right. the gym, which is good, but still more need to come because we're dying at a disproportionate rate than other Americans because mm -hmm. of some of these health issues. Why did that cause a controversy? I can imagine the things <laughs> you're getting into here. Well, it caused a controversy because a lot of times people don't like to bring those things up. And right. people really, we're still not a, co a country that's comfortable with talking about race. We really are not. Well, no, that's a really good insight out of everything that I've heard. And that's something, these are the hurdles. I mean, the biggest hurdle I believe people have toward exercise is if the stuff is not right there, ready to go, that's what I try to do. It gets put off and you don't do it. If it's ready, you can just grab it and do it. And that's what you're all about too. Talk just for a minute about using the environment around you. You don't have to always go off to a gym, et cetera. We're gonna show some exercises, but what can you do that's in your home or office environment? Well, again, that is the big part of my philosophy, that use everything that's around you. Mm -hmm. Philadelphia is a beautiful place. We have so many places where you can exercise for free. You know, right. you have the art museum area, you have the mm -hmm. Schuylkill Trail Walk. So I say get out and walk. It doesn't have to be complicated. If you want to up the ante, get yourself a jump rope. Uh, six minutes of jump rope is equivalent to 20 minutes of jogging. Yeah, okay. that is intense. That How about push-ups? Are push-ups okay? Oh, my God. that's I am the queen of push-ups. Okay? So you're not into the shoulders, you'll mess it up, you'll do all that type no, of crazy stuff? No, no. If you're doing it right, you know, obviously... Can you do a one-arm push-up? I can. I can oh, do I can okay. do clap push-ups, too. Oh, I don't know if we can get that all right. We have, <laughs> we have some Kimberly Garrison exercises coming up, though, here on Dom Time. We'll show you a couple things you can do at home. She won't intimidate me, particularly, with the one-arm push-up, but she'll show us some things you can do at your desk, at work, on an airplane, wherever you might be. That's coming up. Happy New Year's. Special Dom Time, the last show of 2012, here with Dom.